Tilapia. Today, we're going to explore the food scene at the Philippines Business District, Makati City. Also known for its skyscrapers, upscale shopping malls and hotels, and so many delicious eats. People in general find the food here a little bit on the pricey side to cater to a large expat community. So this morning, we'll see it for ourselves as we visit a Pansit Batil Patong spot and a well-known karinderia serving classic Filipino dishes and ihaw ihaw. Joining me today is my friend Enzo of Zoe to the World, who's also a passionate foodie from Makati. And the feast starts here. Ano oil po yung gamit niya, sir? Spring oil. Ah, hindi siya yung parang may pinaglutuan ng pork ganun. Ayun, pag pinaglutuan ko naman. Ah, nung karahay. Apo. Oh, okay. So, while waiting for... Uh, Aling Susings to start opening and prepping their foods. On the way to Al Aling Susings, I saw this Tubigarao place that Enzo is mentioning to me. It's one of the best here in uh, in this area in Makati. Uh, right, Enzo? Yeah. <laughs> one of the best. When did you try this? Pre pandemic. Oh, pre pandemic. 2018, 2019. What's good about their Pansit Batil Patung? Yung topping. Kasi mixture of uh, different flavors and textures. Wow. So Kuya already started stir frying the karahai oil. The karahai, I believe, is the pork belly chicharon, which they use in Tugigarao. And he stir fried that oil with the garlic, ground beef, bean sprouts, carrots, cabbage. And uh, after that, he added some water and added the fresh miki, which only comes from Tugigarao. And I can't wait. I haven't been to Tugigarao, so this is my first Pansit Batil Patong experience here in Makati. And he's going to boil it for 10 to 15 minutes. Oh, and he also added some egg earlier. What are you going to do with the bowl? This is what I'm going to do with the bowl. It's soup. It's the same thing as the batil. Oh! Batil is soup. Yes. Ano yung patong? Yung pinapatong ko yung mga ingredients nito. Oh, okay. So parang patong lang. Yes. Okay. Simple lang. Tapos ano to sugar? Hindi po. Pang balas. Magic. <laughs> Andiyan ang magic. Ito pa yung patong. Yung patong ng itlog. Toyo din ano? Daming toppings ah Parang bundok oh Tomato? Chorizo Ay chorizo Chinese chorizo Oh okay Babalik yung sabaw. Itlog. Ito na yung karahay. So parang ito yung bagnet version ng ano. Ito ko yung ano. Ah, may, may chicharong bulaklak din. Hello po. <laughs> the recipe niyo po ito from Tugigaraw. Apo, talaga ito po yung specialty ng Tugigaraw. May store din po ba kayo sa Tugigaraw o ito lang? Hmm. Thank you, Ate. Are you girl kal kalamansi? Huh? You love kalamansi? <laughs> Alright, so, Pansit Batil Patung is ready. We're here at Chi-Chi's. 
which is a recommendation by Enzo. Okay, so simply lang, every bite we need to have this. Itong uh, mixture of uh, onions and soy sauce, calamansi and chili. Yeah. Sige, show us. So, bro. sige, kukuha na ako. Okay. And then, let's get this condiment. Okay. Nagmamahang ka ba, bro? Oo. Oh. Pero mamaya na. <laughs> <laughs> Money bite. Okay, so pancit batil patung. Hmm. Serap. Um, different textures. Uh, you have the lechon kawali, the picture bulaklak, the creaminess of the egg, the uh, softness of the noodles, the crunch from the veggies. So it's really a world of flavors and textures uh, in my mouth so I think that's what's good about pancit batil pato okay <laughs> it's Kayla's turn to try say pancit pancit batil batil patung patung pancit batil patung patung <laughs> this is crispy pork <laughs> and then I'll get the chicharong bulaklak I'll put a little bit of onions <laughs> cheers Cheers. Mmm, so rough. Crispy, crunchy. Wow. Okay, let me try the lechong karahay. Cheers. Lechong karahay. Super crunchy. Hot. Hot. So rough. So fatty. We're getting the egg. And we get this. Let me try it. Let's take a bite. Cheers, well, cheers with Uncle. <laughs> All right. Cheers. Mmm. <laughs> Love all the crunch from the fresh vegetables. They're not overcooked, not too oily. We get that sweetness from the Chinese sausage. Porky flavor or burst of pork fat from the lechon karahay. Mm. And then chicharong bulaklak. Like, I don't need to explain. It's so good. Now, let's go get the broth. The broth has uh, one egg mixed with it. So this is the chaser. Cheers. Cheers. Very savory. Savory. Malinam nam. Mm. Sarap. Sarap. It's a new thing for me. Mm. First time mm -hmm. trying this pancit batil patong, and it's really like a mountain of ingredients on top of this fresh Miki noodles that came straight from Togigarao, and mm. it's a good way to start our day. Yeah, yeah. And I think um, Alex Using is ready for their uh, dishes, so we'll go there in a bit. Yeah. Nililipat, mas malakas siya apoy sa baba. Padali ko pa dito pag dahil sa alipin. Kumbaga na, pre-cook na siya. Siguro kuha tayo ng tilapia. Kasi fresh eh. Tsaka liempo. Tilapia, liempo. Tapos gisot, gisot to. Kasi isang squid din, yung 1-8. All of our orders have arrived and Enzo and I are already very hungry right now. I'm excited. <laughs> it's around 11 a.m. and it's already packed. Pero hindi pa tapos yung mga dishes nila. They're still cooking caldereta and lots more dishes. And the nilaga. And nilaga, which is their specialty, but unfortunately it will be available at 12 p.m. So we got all of these and I think it's good for now. Bro, you've been here before. Paano ko ba kumain dito? Okay, of, of course, uh, let's start with the liempo because that's uh, one of their specialties here. Let's pick a fatty one. Hey! So, liempo with uh, sausawan. Sausawan? My sausawan will be... <laughs> this is what Kayla made. 
um, toyo, calamansi, and black pepper. <laughs> I'm gonna add some chili there. On top of my lempo. Pero ito na lempo, marinated na siya, no? Marinated na yan. Ready, bro? Ready. Cheers. Cheers. Sarap. Sarap. What I like about their grilled yempo here, the skin is crisp. So, it's rare for a grilled yempo to have a crispy skin. Mmm. So, sarap. Tsaka, I like that it's not sweet. Mm. Simply lang yung uh, seasoning niya, and yet, it's so tasty. Let me try it, Asis. Mmm. Yeah, I get what you mean. It's like, it's more salty than sweet, which is normally yung Pinoy barbecue, di ba? Kayla will try the liempo with rice. Good. Yum. It's very nice. And it's very sweet. Mmm. Sweet? Uh, it's so nice and sweet. And it's so Juicy? Oily. <laughs> so good. Wow, second bite of the liempo. Mm. Okay. Binyagan. Binyagan natin tong tilapia. It looks really good, really fresh. Yeah. So, tayo ng malaman-laman. Wow, look at that, look at that meat, wow. put it on top of my rice, a little bit of uh, soy sauce, calamansi, cheers, cheers, mm. Mm. it's a wrap, simple, sakto lang yung pagkaluto, Super soft meat, delicate. Tsaka yung char niya. Mm. Ang sarap, lasang lasa. So, I think this has stuffing. It looks good. Okay, so, so I'll get this part. You know, may sili siya. So, I think this will be spicy. So, it's stuffed squid with tomato. Onion, this is the onion. And chili. Chili. Pero siyang chili, sa chili labuyo. Let me put a little bit of uh, toyo mansi. Cut it in half with the stuffing or palaman. Cheers. Mm. Nasa ano siya? Eh? Yung texture niya medyo medium. Parang hindi siya sobrang lambot, hindi rin siya sobrang tigas. There's chew to it, but it's still soft. Mm, correct. You know, for its price, uh, this is 180. Pwede na. Where would you get um, grilled squid this uh, cheap? Malaki niya, no? Malaki. At maanghang, because it has red chili. So, kung kayo mo na maanghang, I'm not sure if this is for you. And I think most of the grilled items here will always go well with toyo mansi with chili. So, to those people out of the Philippines who have not been here and I know most of you will be staying in Makati um, instead of going to restaurants or cafes I think for you to understand what Filipino food is you can start with uh, karinderia any karinderia that you will see to get a glimpse of what the Pinoy dishes are what they look like what they taste like and yeah so this is Sinaing Natulingan, which I rarely eat, actually. It depends on where I am. Can you do the honors, bro? Sure. Okay, so I'll get one piece. Sinaing Natulingan. Sinaing Natulingan. Here's. Mmm, it's like yeah, sabi nga sa akin kanina paksiw eh. So, maybe it's sinaing and paksiw. 
<laughs> Kasi normally, di ba dapat may coconut milk ba? Pagka uh, sinaing? Pag sinaing na tulingan? Mm, not necessary. It's more of actually vinegar din yata ang oh. Baka first time ko to na sinaing na tulingan. Ang sarap! Tilapia. Ever since tinuruan namin siya magkamay. Oh. Ay, Filipinos use hands, right, mommy? Yeah. Sarap? Masarap ng tilapia. <laughs> oh, I think their caldereta is ready. Um, and it's coming really soon. But before it comes, I'll try this first because uh, Enzo's allergic to shrimps. But I just want to try the gulai first with the coconut. So there's um, kangkong leaves with the coconut milk. Mm. Hey. I don't think I've ever had ginataang kangkong. Nakapatatay ka na ba ng kangkong na ginataan? Hindi pa. Normally, sitaw, kalabasa. Yeah, sitaw, kalabasa, or yung mga pakbet, di ba? Wow! Pwede pala ang kangkong sa ginataan. I can do this at home now. I love their coconut milk. It's not too heavy. It's not too rich. Mmm. Ako. Sarap. Okay, let's go, bro. Caldereta. Ano ko? Paano, paano ba yan? <laughs> Waiting for the second cup. Okay, so kuha na tayo ng... Hey, beef. Beef, no? Uh, yan, beef uh, caldereta. ultra tender but tender enough mm -hmm. and I like the crunch coming from the bell pepper tender enough para makadalawang cup ng rice oh yeah <laughs> <laughs> ganun yun eh pag nasa karinderya ka hindi naman lagi dapat malambot pag yeah. malambot ubus agad yung ulam mo <laughs> correct correct so our total bill is 820 pesos right I think my favorite was the inihaw na tilapia and the ginataang shrimp with kangkong leaves and the sinaing na tulingan. And my favorite was the tilapia. Yeah, and Kayla used her hands. Eat it. If you want to eat the same food, then you can do aling the same. So it's along Dian Street here in Makati. I don't need to talk much about it. It's already famous. You will see it in social media. I just wanted to experience it myself and it's really good. I've discovered some use of ingredients that I've never tried before like kangkong and ginataan, which normally I just use kangkong and adobo and sinigang. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna do a coconut milk on that real soon. But yeah, that's a short and sweet review of the Pansit Batil Patung from the other Kanto and then here Aling Susing. I hope you can try it if you're staying here in Makati or from any part of the Philippines or the world. Please try Karindere food, support local Filipino food and if you get a chance support Aling Susings here in Makati. That's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching and thank you Enzo and his wife for bringing us here in Makati, the Makati boy. Next video he will tour us to maybe I'd say Bacolod Foods in Makati. So stay tuned. See you on the next video here in the Philippines or here in Makati. Bye!